So I've already done a review of the Visible Wireless service. Well, how is it gonna work with a OnePlus 7 Pro? The last update that came out for the OnePlus 7 Pro specifically said it was compatible with Visible Wireless now. So let's get into this video. All right, so I've got the SIM card in here. I've got Visible Wireless service, as you can see right there, it says Visible Wireless. And um, I wanted to see if I can grab some speeds for you up in the office to see. In my office here, the service is really bad uh, for some reason for most phones. But the OnePlus 7 Pro is one of the phones that has great signal uh, strength in my house. And this is what it's looking like on Verizon's uh, network for the speed test. And I actually connected to a Sprint network and it was horrible. It was like one or two. Uh, but um, these are decent speeds up here for Visible. I mean, because Visible is not prioritized first. Obviously, over Verizon customers, they're not going to be prioritized first. So, 11 down is definitely decent, uh, and uh, 2 or 3 up, probably, maybe. Uh, so, that's going to be pretty decent for Visible Wireless. Where Visible Wireless shines for me is um, when I'm traveling, um, the service doesn't really drop out as much as other, other phone services that I have. Uh, so, you know, with my experience, I've taken this phone to Florida, Alabama, Tennessee. I've traveled with the phone basically uh, in Arkansas. I was, I've taken it different places. Uh, not this phone, the, the visible service. And I was using an iPhone for that service. And, you know, it was decent. It, it kept service in most places where uh, other phones had dropped out. My AT&T dropped out. My T-Mobile dropped out. Uh, there's, there's definitely um, an advantage to visible wireless. Uh, and um, I find that... Um, you know, these speeds are going to be consistent across the board. But when I leave my house, man, it really picks up in speeds. And I'm getting between, you know, 20, 50 maybe, I guess. Uh, but all in all, the data speeds work very well. Uh, I'm going to stream something here. Let's stream. Let's see if we can get in here like a big jaw. Uh, let's stream this. And see if we can pull down. Because I, I recently found it that on my T-Mobile network, I can pretty much stream in Quad HD. I can stream in 1440p over LTE with no problems. Uh, and um, I want to see how this phone does with streaming uh, up here because uh, this is important to me. You want to be able to stream. So by default, it automatically drops down to 480p. But let's kick it up a notch and let's see if we can actually do uh, 720p. And you just follow that line right there. You'll see if it pulls back, then it's not it's not able to handle it. Uh, and let's see if it's changed out. Yeah, it's changed out. So let's go to 1080p. You can see the line kind of pulling back. You see the red line trying to catch up there. So now it's full on for 1080p at 60 frames per second. I think it's starting to buffer. Yeah, it's starting to buffer. So now it's trying to grab 1080p. Uh, but in this part of the video, I'm just kind of testing the data speeds uh, to let you know what I think about them. And it uh, looks like I won't be able to uh, take it a second to buffer, but I can do it. Let's just kick it all the way up to 1440p uh, and see if it's able to handle any of that at all. I'm sure once it downloads the video, it possibly could, but um, it'll be a very, probably will be stuttering a whole bunch trying to pull down 1440p if it can do it at all. So I guess that's pushing the limits a little bit. I'm sure if I let it sit there, it'll buffer out and it'll eventually get some of it downloaded. But uh, ultimately, it looks like 720p is, is the comfortable zone for uh, streaming uh, on Visible, at least where I'm at inside my office, because I definitely can stream in 480p, which is, you know, DVD quality. But nonetheless, it's trying to pull that 1440p. We'll stop that. Uh, but the Visible Wireless Network, um, making phone calls over the Visible Wireless Network, as you see here, strong signal uh in 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 this office here so phone calls and stuff have never really been bad uh but um you know the visible wireless network for phone calls it's really really decent I, I just haven't had very many problems with drop calls or anything there was a time um where i was using the visible service and uh i was downstairs trying to make an important call and it just kept cutting out i had to switch phones i don't know what that was about but that hasn't happened too much i think that happened like once or twice uh in the whole time of using visible wireless uh and you know the service has been actually really really sweet it's, it's been good so no problems at all we'll we'll give you a follow-up video with the oneplus service uh oneplus 7 pro with visible service later but for now those are the data speeds that you get and then phone calls 
our phone calls. They're, 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 they shouldn't have any push problems with it. I don't know. Remember now, location is important. So where I am, um, you know, I'm not having any issues with, with the phone as far as having a good signal uh, because it's running on Verizon's network and Verizon has a huge blanket over here where I'm at. So this will be a, a good thing. So I'll give you a follow-up video later on, uh, maybe in a week or two with the visible service using it on um, the OnePlus 7 Pro because I actually do use the visible service. So we'll see how this works out. Shaman J, hope you guys enjoyed a real brief introductory to OnePlus 7 Pro versus visible wireless.